Hey everybody and welcome back to GSC. So it's been kind of a busy couple of weeks here, months, busy year so far, but I do want to do some summertime maintenance with Casper since I'm starting to get it out and use it a little bit more frequently around the farm. So I'm going to flip this camera around and show you kind of what I'm going to be doing here and probably take you into the truck at some point too to show a few things. Fuel filters. I try to replace them every 10,000 miles. Some people do them every 15, some every 20. I'm a little more picky than most because fuel around here seems to be contaminated more often than not. So this is our Napa Gold 3976 filter. I don't have an AC Delco one because the retainer ring for my Delco filters has made itself very scarce in the garage and my other one is currently broken. So here's your fuel filter location on your 6.5 turbo diesel. It's way here in the back. All you need to do is be able to get something on this to turn it and remove it. I'm gonna show you how to do this the wrong way with an oil filter pliers device to help get this out because believe it or not, once the thing sucks on there, it is nearly impossible to remove. So I'm gonna grab my tool, bust it loose and show you guys how that's gonna work. And then we will get this new filter in. So here's the tool. Like I said, oil filter pliers, has little jaws. You get a hold of your fuel filter here Real just gently, give it a turn. And that way you're not fighting it all the way out because these things, like I said, once they're on there, they tend to stay pretty tight. All right, it's gonna leak diesel, it's gonna be messy. You can see there's an O-ring on here. That old O-ring needs to be removed. So once you get your filter out and get it out of the way, GM did a nice job of making it so you'd stand them up right here. So slip in here, grab your old O-ring, pull him out. This one actually isn't too bad. And honestly, this filter's not in bad shape considering it's been in it for about 15,000 miles now. So definitely time to time to change because I usually try to do it every other oil change. I just didn't get a chance to because I knew that it was winter and the truck was going to sit. So get this thing on. You can see that nice little O-ring sits down in there. New filter. It may require a little bit of a push, just like that. And then we'll thread it into the right place. All you need to do is go hand tight. I tend to go a little crazy with them because I have them leak more not often than not. So I'll grab a hold here and give that extra quarter turn. All right, now with this being a DS4 truck, I don't need to bleed it. I can turn the key on and it should fire and do all the diesel things and make all the sounds. If it was a 9192 truck, you would have to crank this up until you get oil pressure. Crack that bleeder here on the top. This is threaded. All you do is spin it up. And there's your bleeder screw. And it usually takes, there we go, a pop. It goes back in here. Sorry for the terrible camera views as always, guys, but hard to do by yourself sometimes. But that's it. Your old fuel filter fits nice in the box. And the boxes are wax and tape coated, so they clog themselves. Get your tool out of here. All right, I'm gonna just turn the key on. filter replacement on your 92 to 2000 6.5 liter turbo diesel. Next I'll go ahead and crawl into the truck. We'll check starter bolts and do a half dozen other things. Thanks guys.